Okay, guys, so that was an easy one where the point that we were after, the terminal arm landed in quadrant one. It gets more interesting when the terminal arm is not in quadrant one. So for example, this one has x equals negative 15. So this point is going to be over here and up here. Negative 15 comma 12. Now, everything else is pretty straightforward. What you do is you draw the terminal arm. There it is. And we want it to stop at negative 15 comma 12. Now I drew through it, but that's where it stops. Now the angle in standard position, and you gotta know this, and this is what I'm teaching, and yes it's new, but you can handle it. This was your initial arm. I told you that the initial arm is always along the positive x-axis. And I told you that it rotates clockwise to be positive. That is the angle in standard position that we're looking for. Now, in quadrant one, that angle was inside the triangle, which made life easy. In quadrant two, it's not. It's outside the triangle. So when we go to make our triangle, And we always make a right triangle, because we can't do anything unless we have a right triangle. This distance here is how far we travel out the x-axis, which is 15. That's not hard. And this distance here is how far we go up the y-axis. Well, that's 12. That really shouldn't be hard. So now we have some questions. This angle here, I'm not going to call it theta. I'm going to call it x, just because I chose x. And this distance from here to here, I'm going to call the radius, r. Because this tri not triangle, this arm would continue to rotate all the way around that circle. We just happen to be stopping at negative 15, 12. Now stop and look at that. Make sure that all makes sense to you. There's nothing there that you shouldn't be able to handle. Okay, so let's answer some of the questions. First off, can we figure out the radius? This length. I hope so. That's a right triangle. We just had a test on that. So, number one, for radius, you're going to say that it's going to be r squared equals 12 squared plus 15 squared. So it's going to be 12 squared plus 15 squared equals second function r equals plus or minus 19.2, approximately. You're going to omit the negative, and it's going to be 19.2 units. Lovely. Two, three marks. That one isn't. No. That doesn't, so the, you just noticed something. The radius won't change no matter what quadrant you're in. But the angle that we're solving for is going to be a little bit different. Because I'm going to have to find x first and then determine theta, which is the what I want. That's the, hard part. That's the harder part. So step two, determine theta. Well, to do that, you have to find x first. So angle x. I'm going to use opposite and adjacent. I'm going to use tangent. I'm going to use my calculator. I'm going to do 12. I'm going to do divided by 15. And then I'm going to do second function tangent, which is going to give me approximately 39 degrees. But that is here. Where's my... Here it is. This is here. That's not what I want. I want this. So therefore, theta 
If I was to go all the way around, it would be 180 degrees, right? This little bit is 39 degrees. So theta must be 180 minus 39. And it equals approximately 141 degrees. And that is the angle in standard position. Okay, I'm going to stop there and we'll be right back.